Welcome to the Sleepy G Show. I'm your host for the most. My name is Gomez, and today, first of all, I would like to say Happy New Year to everybody since we're in the new year. Happy 2024. But today, I got the monstrous guy. You know, he's not mean and green like the Hulk, but man, he knows a good pizza out there. And he has bumped into Dave Portnoy from Barstools because they seen each other in a Verona pizza shop. We're here with Steve for AKA the Pizza Hulk. See, what's going on, buddy? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good. I'm be excited here. to have you on here, bro. I mean, I'm excited to be here. We've talked about last year. Uh, we always been trying to meet up. We were trying to meet up at Halston's at one point. We were trying to do almost anything to get together. Yeah. And here we are in the new year of 2024, yep. man. Yeah. I'm so excited. Now I gotta ask the first question. <laughs> How did you come up with your concept of the Pizza Hulk? So I have an eight-year-old son. His mm -hmm. name is Logan. Uh, he's named after Wolverine. Which is a, one books, of my favorite characters. Yeah. And in comic books, Wolverine and Logan, uh, Logan <laughs> and uh the Hulk. It's just a cool combo. Yeah, it is. So it just it that's exactly how it came up. I'm like, yo, I just I want to do something during COVID. And I was like, hey, this feels like it could be pretty cool. I love pizza. So let's go with it. So it was just a simple, like, you know, Pizza Hulk sounds cool. And here we are. Here we are. Exactly. Yeah. Let me tell you, you are anywhere you go here, and especially between Morris County, Essex County. Uh, I'm not sure about Bergen County because I have not gone to pizza shops in Bergen County a lot. But I know you've gone to Parsippany's Best where I'm near close to because uh, it has your sticker yeah. over there. Um, yeah. yeah, I got to get them. They, they messaged me. I got to get them a new sticker. But then they did their... Uh, they did a holiday window, so I let yeah. it change. Yeah, I, I exactly. Get back up there. Um, I'm actually about ten. I it's kind of funny you say that. We I do order Persephone Best every Monday, uh, okay. because my daughter is a dancer, so she's okay. a seven year old dancer that's in the area, and Mondays it's pizza night, and we order from Persephone's Best because the go. ones are actually delivered pretty damn good, so we can never complain okay. about them. Yeah, that's the one thing. I, I don't do delivery. No, no, that's a good thing. Oh, I go. I go. Let's Actually, go. I'm not going to lie. Monday is a half day. And, uh, man, this is going to hurt. I have to get Domino's. Ooh. Yeah, the kid wants Domino's. Oh, I no, can't. I get it. I, Listen, I, I, once in a blue moon, you do catch me having a uh, thinny, thin crust uh, pepperoni bacon pizza with some hot sauce on it. Okay. I go deep dish extra cheese. See, deep dish, I got to go to Pizzeria Uno. Okay. I have to go Chicago style. I love yeah. Chicago style pizza really? too. Don't get me. I, I, something about the the sauce being on top of the cheese in the bottom. Yeah. I, I know. I agree with you. I'm not. But something about the more cheesier it is for some reason. Yeah. I mean, but I love cheese. So I love cheese too. That's, that's a yeah. bad. Uh, so that's what I'm. You know, <laughs> that's all right. It, it, it's an amazing thing where you could feast on, you know, especially when it yeah. comes to fresh mozzarella. Now, I did mention in the beginning, you actually bumped into Dave Portnoy. Actually, he gave you a huge shout out yeah. on his little New Jersey pizza place uh, in yep. Verona. I just don't remember the name of the shop. Guys, pizza don't terminal. kill me on that. Pizza Terminal. Pizza Terminal. Yep. And he goes, even the Pizza Hulk's been here. And then I was literally there. He, literally, he did, I was he, 10 feet behind him when he said it. I was how, hiding behind the wall. You could see me, and I'm hiding behind the wall. You you can, but how was it meeting Dave Portnoy? Uh, it was super cool. He, I mean, he's literally what anybody who's eating and reviewing pizza, like, that's the goal, right? You mm -hmm. want to be the world-famous pizza guy. Uh, he was super cool. He was really cool to me. It was a weird time because it was COVID. You know, we're yeah. all masked up, so it was a very awkward, you know, mm -hmm. encounter on, like, you know, what to do. But, yeah, he shouted me out, got a picture with him. And uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. I do. Well, I'm hoping to run into him again sometime. I've just missed him a handful of times at certain places. Mm -hmm. I've literally just missed him, but uh, we'll we'll meet again. What? Oh, uh, I, I I was always pissed at him because he gave uh, a pizza shop in Caldwell a higher number than the other, uh, which always annoyed the living crap out of me. Which one? So he gave who? He gave uh, Angeloni's a eight nine eight nine. And he gave Tony D's a 7-2. Yeah, so Tony D's was, for the longest time for me, that was my top slice. Like, just regular walk in, grab a slice. Right. That Like, I don't know. Something's changed a little bit. It's not as 
amazing. I just think it's better than Angelone's. Though. Yeah, I love Angelone's, but I don't eat it all the time. I'm not a fan of Angel. I had it twice. Yeah, you, you know, know uh, right across the street, La Familia. We'll never step foot in there again. Oh man, okay. Big issue with them. Then that's okay. a story I'm not going to mention here on uh, no live. Problem. I do have a, I have a definitely big beef with them. Okay. And um, it was insulting. I heard they got good stuff, but then yeah. I heard, then I heard people. Um, I'm not going to mention a shop in the area. Yeah. They ordered lunch for them, and they said they got crud, they got crudded on. Yeah, like they okay. were with like meats and stuff, and they said they barely gave him anything. Yeah, okay. So, the, so the, that that listen, kind of thing happened. A, I mean, I went, I go to Rosillo's. I love Rosillo's is family, so I love that's bar. It's probably we're gonna have that. We usually have a Friday night. We're probably gonna have a Saturday night. That's my spot. That's one of my favorite spots, the especially there. during COVID. Yeah, um, I, I am their a vodka sauce. I love their vodka sauce. I love their chicken marsala pizza. Uh, yep. I, I, I always get the I get my personal chicken marsala. Yeah. Um, you know, we my wife loves their chicken giabota. She, okay, yeah. We love we love our Italian foods. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who else got a really good slice though? Who? Right down the block behind them, uh, Pizzeria Mandara. I have not been there yet. Yeah, that was my I I made my own awards in mm -hmm. 2023. The Smashies. Okay. And uh, they were they won for the best plain slice. I'm oh, sorry. See, I I am a mushroom or plain slice guy or pepperoni. Okay, yeah, no, I'm a plain, plain <laughs> white, and my meatball is the. the top I seen. I that was gonna ask you next. I see, like you know, when you do, when you're going around, and I notice a lot is the white pizza. Oh. Now I do like a good white pizza. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean. Not all yeah. the time, but I see that's one of your go-to slices. Yeah, that's kind of the only. That's kind of the only specialty slice that I'll grab. Okay. I'm not a respectful chicken, a chicken guy, like, you know, uh, buffalo chicken, chicken parm. Chicken parm is good, um, but it's just not. Give me plain and give me okay. the white. The buffalo chicken pizza, there's only one place I do like from, and that's Godfather's. And uh, Hanover? Or it doesn't the, matter. Uh, it, either East Hanover, Parsippany, or Morristown. Okay. It's consistent. Yeah. That was one of the slices my wife turned me on to. Okay. Which I think it's really damn good actually not pretty really damn good yeah i'm not a buffalo guy in general and i hey, and i respect that yeah yeah the I, white i love i love why that's one of the ones I've, my whole life just been eating white, white is a good slice i do like but a, a good you can never beat a good plane though yeah, um plain is that's where the bar set yeah i mean plain is always good pepperoni is always great i'm a mushroom kind of guy i love mushrooms too you know what i mean everyone looks at yeah. me when i say that i'm like what there's yeah. nothing I'm Mushrooms like, just got that weird feel. Like, oh. It all depends. Like, I'm not gonna lie. If it's like, if it's like the canned mushrooms, yeah, you know, it's actually pretty damn good. I'll <laughs> say that. <laughs> but for some reason, fresh mushrooms, it don't work for me. Yeah, I don't no, know yeah, why. I, just, yeah, I have a very terrible food palate. So, no, nah, don't. No, you don't. Jesus, you're the pizza <laughs> bro. Look at you, man! You're ripped. You're more ripped than me. You deserved the Sleevey G logo than I do. Uh, <laughs> no, I always, always sleeves. They might be tiny there, but always sleeves. Uh, I, always. I go without the sleeves. It was, it was kind of funny how this turned into that because of my last show. Uh, well, my me and my uh, my best friend from almost thirty years, we 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 had playlist wars together. Yeah. So we, you know, the sleeveless one. I did all my interviews or my shows in a sleeveless shirt like this. So or my my stuck. my undershirt, yeah. And everyone is like the sleeveless one is talking, and then the sleeve, and then oh, I'm like, hey, it works. It does. It's and your own show, it works. It's funny. It's a year later, and the patch, the hat, the shoes, the recognition now is pretty cool. Yeah, that's it's it's a cool feel. That's a cool feeling. You know, when you it, go somewhere and people see you and notice you, like that's a fun. That's a fun time. The best one was. um the the team Taylor Ham. I okay. went to go. I went to go see him. I was off on a Saturday. Yeah. I went to Pascarello Brothers. He's like, "Hey, I recognize that patch." So for me, because I went with my Sleevey G attire. Yeah. I said, "If I, I'm gonna go meet this guy." Yeah. And I'm Team Taylor Ham, by the way. I'm not pork roll. Yes, one hundred percent. So, um, fully with it. And I went and I visited my Pascarello Brothers, and I'm like, "Hey, you know, I'm eating my breakfast, and I'm just." Letting him set up, you know what I mean? I didn't want to yeah, bother yeah. him. And I'm like, love your stuff. I'm buying some shirts. 
He goes, I go, okay, get back. He goes, dude, I recognize that patch. I've seen you make some noise on my on my Instagram. I go, yeah, that's all one I'm about. That's what's cool. Yeah. And yo, Pascarella Brothers is no joke. joke. I no know. No joke. Best I went. Talent. They got to stick around the door. They got to oh, stick. It, they, and, they, uh, they're great. Yeah. It was uh, that sandwich was crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. So good. Yeah. I, I, I tell the guys at work sometimes, like, it's like it's slow at work right now. Um, just because of the crazy weather we're having, of course, yeah. you know, we had snow, we had this damaging rain. Now we're having more snow next week. Yep. Um, so I, I, I'm trying to see if I can convince the guys, Hey, how about you let me slip? Yeah. I'll go grab some good get tail get you, yeah. and I'll come right back. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to yeah. attempt that. We're going to attempt that. All right. So, it works, man. Yeah. Their sandwich is so banging. That place is also crazy. Like I've never, I've been in a lot of places. I grew up in, I grew up in delis. Okay. Um, my family's had them. I, I, you know, I've worked in kitchens at bars. Mm-hmm. I've, I've never seen anything like their operation. It was their operation is smooth. I walked in, waited. There was three people in front of me, real quick. That placed my order. I stood against the wall. In the time to make the Taylor ham, egg, and cheese, there was like forty people that came in. Yeah, it was insane. It's nuts how we, yeah, and it's a small parking no, lot. No joke though. I, I work in Morristown, and the funny thing is this: I, I had to go see a client. And I go, damn, I haven't had breakfast yet. And I'm in that area. I'm like, oh, this looks like a nice little quaint spot. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. You know, and I said, you guys got Taylor here making cheese sandwiches. He's like, yeah. And a, and a Kaiser roll. I'm like, I don't care what I, what's on it. I, I just want a Taylor here making cheese yeah, sandwich. I just need ham, bro. Yeah, that's all I need. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, not a problem. We got you. And they're original. And the, and the price is actually really good. I think I. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Different. Especially was like, you get you get enough meat on that thing. It was pretty you good. You get a great sandwich. And man, I took my first bite out before. Taylor Ham cheese guy came around. Yeah. You know, so it was just like, oh, that's good. Good eats right there. Yeah. It's funny because, like, yeah, he's 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 big. He's making noise. It's cool. Yeah. yeah I've, I've been te- I've been team Taylor Ham my whole life. Yeah, so. same here. I'm team Taylor Ham and I'm also used team to, Pizza Hulk, too. Yeah. I used to go to uh my buddy had a girlfriend live all the way down in, in Little Egg Harbor. And we would go down there and it said pork roll, egg, and cheese on the wall. I'm like, I'm not saying it. Like, I'm not saying it. I I go to Wildwood every year with my family. Yeah, I'm not saying it. And you know what I say? <laughs> I said, let me get a thing of Scrabble yeah. on the side because that's big down south. Yep. Which is, it's it's a mixture of all, it's a corned yeah, beef Scrabble hash. Scrabble so weird. So it's, weird. It, it's like a corned beef hash, but in a square shape. Yes. But it's so damn good, though. Yeah. Uh, so, but I will, I will never say pork roll. They uh, always correct me. Look. I'm like, I go, I'm sorry. I'm from North Jersey. It's Taylor yep. Hammock and Cheese. On a croissant, or they a know. Bagel. They know what we're they saying. Know where, they they just know where we're die. from. They just nope. want to bust our balls. They just want to hear me say it. Yeah, it's not. The <laughs> but you're not getting that out of me. I know it's p- south of Trenton. You you, you gotta say pork roll. Screw that. Yeah. I'm North Jersey, and we rule over South Jersey every day. Nope. Now, absolutely. No, I know we. Uh, you know, I have to ask. I know you've been to Pizza Town. Um, first of all, that's an iconic iconic oh it's 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 the same flavor wise right now but that experience isn't as fun anymore i'm sorry nah, um i get it i remember in uh, the 80s that place being there just getting yelled at people coming in there just being like yo can i get pepperoni and they're like plain only and you're like can i get pepperoni i've seen people in there with their kids like plain plain only and i'm like yo they only have plain yeah like, and you order at the wrong window like that everything about that place was amazing it's still great still but, great like, the experience is just different it's like, not the same like it used to be when I grew up. Now, I, I'll, all right, I'll say my age here. I'm 44. Okay, I'm, I'm 41. All right, you, just, you look younger than me, so <laughs> I got the more gray hairs growing more. Yeah. I got the, I got the, how would they say? Someone would say I have a neon skunk line growing on my <laughs> goatee. I asked my wife if I could do just for men. She just looked at me. I'm like, all right, not yet. Just yeah, I, I, I said, go, can I I'll dye my hair? The, I'll go I with said, the I go, listen, I could dye this. I said, it make me look much younger. She goes, yeah, I feel like it would just look weird, though. So I'm like, ah, I'll just go with it. I started growing this June 16th, 1999. Man. How do I know that? That was the year I graduated high school. Wow. Okay. I went to a Catholic school, and you can never have a goatee yeah. or beard. So I this is a COVID beard, and it's stuck. My wife loves it. So I um I had to shave my COVID beard. I look like a, I look like a fur-bearing yeah. man. It's been crazy like- here. It's, it's pretty good now. I got a nice... Uh, <laughs> I like she the look. Nice, she got, yeah, she got a nice brush. I got, yeah, she's got a good brush, and I love the look though. It looks good on you. Yeah, I I work hard on it. Uh, it's I yeah. not in the sense of a. I don't work. Way. I don't. It's easy up here. 
Yeah, it's uh, we're good up here, but yeah, I take pride in this one. I, I take pride in my hair, and uh, I, I'm gonna give a good shout out to City Image over here in Caldwell. Yep. My boy Edwin, who's the new manager at that shop, okay, he takes care of me every time. Right. I, I, you know, I, 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 uh, I splurge every every month. I go there. I get the hot towel shave. I'm like, yeah, I'm uh, a, I, yeah. It's one of my favorite. Things I usually going don't. Out. I go every now and then. We go right around the block. Uh, my buddy Eddie Snips, he's got a shop. My son goes there. He got. Yeah. Uh, he does the lines, and my son's pretty much the only kid in our town that has the lines on both sides. Nice. Everybody has it on one, and I was Wait, like, Yo, gotta, gotta nobody else is allowed to have two lines. Nobody. Yep. Nobody should. If if yeah. you start the fed, he's, he's gotta got to keep. He's it. got both sides. So nice. Now, I know you've done a lot over here. Now, I've seen you go into Bergen County. Is there any specific spot that you love in Bergen County for a pizza? Bergen County is pretty good with the uh, they got pretty good bar pie options. I was just at Kinchley's today. Kinchley's, I saw that today. Uh, that yeah, looks that's really that's good. A nostalgic spot. Kinchley's, Nelly's, Lido's, they're all that. I'm a thin and crispy guy. Okay, I want thin and crispy. So everybody asks, like, oh, what's your your favorite? And until it's not my favorite, it's Vinny's Pan Pizza in Milburn. Okay. Like, that's my because it's everything that I want in a pizza. It's thin, okay. it's cheesy, it's nice. cheese to the crust. So it's got that little yes, uh the cheese char. Like yes. it's got all of that. It's got that's all of that. What I want. That's yes. everything that I want. So yeah, bar pies is where like I lay my hat. There's a place in East Rutherford Park Tavern. Yeah, New Park Tower, yeah. Yes, the New Park Tower. I grew up on that that yeah, pizza right there. That, and I remember, oh, God, that's 20-some-odd years ago. When I turned 21, man, I started eating. I was there yeah. more religiously when I turned 21. I was there yeah. when I was young, and don't get me wrong. But when I finally got to hang out with the cool kids in the bar, yeah, uh, you know, it was always the the muscle marinara. You get, you get a pot of muscle marinara and a freaking nice – and a bar pie. And that's the one yep. pie I would say I do not want it touched with any pepperoni, yeah, mushroom. No. And, and and as Dave Portnoy would say, it has no flop. Yeah. That's a good that's yeah. one of my favorite bar pies around the in this yeah. area. But I gotta try the one in Milburn, though. I gotta say that. I will yeah, try that's that. my spot. So it's a regular pizza spot, but that's my that's my jam. That's my go-to. Mm -hmm. The number one, the owner, he's freaking amazing. Nice. So like that whole combo, but it's everything that I want in a pizza. Like so, nice. it's hard to top that. And no, it is. I mean, when you know, when you love pizza, like for instance, I am a I'm Cuban and Peruvian. So my number one spot for Peruvian food is Sabor Peru and Caldwell. Okay, that's a block away from actually. What's kind of funny from uh, Angeloni's, mm -hmm. La Familia, City Image, Sabor Peru, Tony D's, and uh, yeah, they're all right there. They're all right there. So now, so Bor Peru came from Rutherford, where I'm from. So okay. when I when I moved up in this area in the Persephone, Pinebrook, uh, Montville area, yeah, there's no good Spanish restaurants around this area. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, so Bor Peru, and I was driving with my wife. I go, that's a Peruvian that's not restaurant. Hard trip for you? No, 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 no. It's hey, like 46, and you go. Yeah, right up 15 that. minutes. 15 yeah. minutes tops. Okay. I'm very local. Yeah, which is kind of funny. It's even better. Um, you know, so. I've known the old owners from Rutherford. And then I remember when we walked up the steps, cause it's a, it's upstairs on, it's an apartment building converted to a restaurant, which used to be a French restaurant upstairs. Okay. <clears throat> so they bought it out. They made it into their own little flair of Spanish. And I went up there with my wife and the owner goes, Alex, I go, Alex, we we're both named Alex and his yeah. wife. And I'm like, Holy shit. We're hugging each other saying that. Well, it's That's up. super cool. So, and I remember the girl working there, Diana, who's now the new own. Well, now is the owner of Sobor Peru, and she's done phenomenally. That's she awesome. Took, but she had some rough times. Don't get me wrong. She just took over the restaurant when it started COVID. Oh man! But let me tell you, she's blossomed that thing. That's tremendously. Right. It's great to survive. She survived. She's got a catering company out of it. She's done so much. Like that's awesome. You know that's that, great. and and I, I promote her heavily. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. and it's with her. And I don't listen. She knows I don't go and ask for free food. I don't yeah. ask, you know, um, I had Car I met up with Cara DeFalco there. Yeah, I, I saw that. And first of all, uh, she's a sweetheart. Yeah, she's, she's been pretty on the, cool. She's been on the show twice. Um, she's a true awesome friend. Um, you know, I've became friends with her too, and Christina Bear and Don Smith. The, those cats are crazy, man. They're good yeah. times, they're funny. 
Um, and they talk to me a lot and I talk to them a lot too, which is kind of great connections to have, you know what I mean? Yep. It's definitely, you know, I don't ask them for like, Oh, can I get, can you hook me up with a superstar? No, that I know uh, some people would do that. Yeah. But to be uh -huh. honest with you, the mentorship and the friendship I have with them. It's learning it's, from them is better. Yeah. It's, it's, it's impressive. I got um, some of that. I got some, I got some people on my phone that I could call, but I just, I like to call them and say, Hey. You know yeah, I, mean? I text yeah. to say hi, what's up? You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like them. And I like to call I like to call them when they're on ESPN radio. Like, dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> we, <laughs> we need we need to talk, buddy. We need to talk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, then that's the next <laughs> best thing is with Steve is the pizza hulk, but he is a true, true New York giant. And we I... and we were say we're gonna talk a little bit about it, which we're gonna start now. As we just had probably one of the most disappointing seasons ever yeah, was, uh, yeah we had high hopes we 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 go into the playoffs last year okay yeah. we kicked the li we kicked the living crap out of minnesota yep okay everyone said we had no business being in minnesota we had no business being in the playoffs yeah daniel Smash jones around. daniel jones shot his load out barkley was running like a madman and then we do meet the unstoppable eagles yeah as a Giants fan, I'm respecting the Eagles. I hate the town. I, I hate no, I shouldn't say I hate. I don't I don't dislike I dislike the team of the fan the Eagle base. Um, but you gotta give credit where credit's due. They do they had a dynamic defense last year, yeah. and Jalen Hurts was balling out last year. Out of his mind. He See, was like, out of yeah, his mind. I'll I'll appreciate the uh, like the town of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. I Their do appreciate the town of Philly. Their sports teams can suck it. Uh, I, I, I gotta. The only thing is, I, I bought a, a Philadelphia Phillies no. hat. Here's I mean, the reason I like the hat color, though. That's the only the thing. hat color school, yo. But also, like, how do you not like Bryce Harper? Oh, Bryce Harper's amazing. You know I mean, like, I'm cool with Bryce Harper, but like, also, like, I mean, I don't like Jalen Hurts, but I appreciate his, his sneak his, his game. His cleat yeah. game is on, is on point. I, I, I appreciate him, AJ Brown. Who's, yeah, like, who's I, on as a team, I appreciate them, but honestly, yeah. I. It's not the Cowboys. I don't have though. that big of an issue with the Eagles. No, neither do I. They're not uh, the Flyers. Cowboys. Flyers, I do have an issue. Yeah, I, like I'm, Cowboys. I hate Cowboys. The Cowboys. Uh, we all hate the Cowboys. Everybody. 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 Anybody and everybody. The the. You know, I know this is going to air like in a couple, like two weeks. When they're home, yeah, that's fine. No, no, well, no, the playoffs start this week. Yeah, but then they'll be home. No, they're going to be. I bet. Yeah, they'll be home. They're going <laughs> to choke against Green Bay. I hope so. I, I hope so. I, I want Jordan Love to ball out yeah. against Mike McCarthy. Yeah. Just so go. It, just go nuts. It's kind of yeah. funny um, the, this week, and even though I know this will air out soon, but it's, what is it, Miami versus Kansas City. So it's Tyreek Hill versus his old team. Yeah, that's a whole thing. Stafford against the Lions. It's, also, it, Kansas City is going to be like minus 18 degrees. Yeah, I know. That's what, uh, because I think What's that's at snow, but that's at snowstorm. I think that's hitting our way. Yeah. Because I heard Tuesday is supposed to be like, 15 oh, or below zero. That's terrible. So whatever it is, it is. But terrible. Um, as Giants fans, we came in this year with high hopes. Listen, yeah. Saquon Barkley, we get him under the franchise tag. God bless him. Okay. He's come out. He's this is what his sixth year with us as a giant. Yeah. Or his, okay. Out of his six years, two of them he's been severely injured. Um, Torre CL ripped his leg, yada yada yada. Look. He is a man that is on a mission. Do I think he's going to come back next year? Giants have to make a good deal. I don't. He, yeah, I don't think he's coming back though. I don't think he is. He keeps talking about a fresh start. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he wants. He there. I mean, they can franchise him again. I don't think they're gonna. No, but, I don't think Joe Shannon's going to franchise him this year. No. Um, I think what's going to happen is either he's going to give him a two-year, twenty, twenty-three million dollar, fifteen million guaranteed. Something like that, yeah, two year or three like year that. did that, you know what I mean? But yeah, I um, think he's out. I think he's out. Um, look, I think he did great for the Giants when he was a rookie. Mm -hmm. He proved himself last year. He but proved that himself... just that that position and uh, in, in general is so rough, the running it's, back spot. It's hard to have a good running back, but also you gotta look at Giants offensive line. We've had problems well, with the offensive line. We yeah. haven't had a good offensive line since the Brandon Jacobs and Rashad Bradshaw yeah. years, if you think about it. Oh, Justin Pugh was 
on like podcasts like us. And then he was playing. He played the whole season. He didn't come in for like two weeks. He played the whole season. I know. It was, it was kind of funny. I still love his Monday night football. Yeah. Justin Pugh, straight off the couch. Yeah. I love awesome. it. This, it was great. <laughs> and he's a but great then it, like player. stayed the whole year. And I'm just like, dude, what, what are we doing? Yeah. It's. But, yeah. Justin Pugh is a guy I followed. I, I loved him when he was a giant. The first time. Yeah. When he was original. Yeah. When he was originally a giant. I was upset when he went to the Cardinals. And to see him come back saying he feels great and he looked amazing. He looked great, yeah. He looked a lot thinner. Yeah. Like he, he took care of himself. And as an ex-offensive line coach and ex-offensive lineman of high school football, I never got a chance to play college because I hurt my knees. They were, they were okay. shot. Yeah. I never got a chance to play Division three or Division two or anything. Um, but I always loved coaching high school football. And St. Mary's in Rutherford is my alma mater of high school football. I always will bleed white white and blue for them. Okay. Um, I coached there. I played there. I've seen some great football players go on to play great college ball. I've seen great teammates. Uh, the head coach over there, Paulie Johnson now, who's the owner of Fast uh, in Lyndhurst, which is a, a training club facility. Oh, yeah. Okay. And he's the head coach of St. Mary's now. He's turned that team around since nice. my head coach retired. Yeah. And to see that team finally make the playoffs and do some dance, make some noise this year. Yeah. We're proud, you know. Um, you know, and that's something I love seeing. Um, for me, sometimes the NFL is more of a business, which I get. You know what I mean? And that's why I love college football too. Yeah, a lot college more is cool. Because what's your school? What's your school? College. Notre Dame. Uh, uh, I went to it's not because it, it it's because where I went was an Irish Catholic school. All right, it makes sense. So, yeah. but I did like Notre Dame for a lot of good reasons. Love the, I always loved the 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 whole Shamrock Leprechaun, the gold helmets. That's what really drove me was the helmets. The gold helmet, okay. <clears throat> the gold helmet, because you don't right. see that. No. So it's so original, but to the the traditions that they held. Yeah. It was something that I loved. What we did at our high school level. Praising family, brotherhood. Yeah, that that's was something, cool. and yeah, that's something. So it, it works, especially it works. In high school. Do I love college level? I love a lot of college teams. You know, I you know, I love Duke uh, for basketball, the Tar Heels for basketball. You, uh, no, 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 no. You can't. You, you I can't, know you can't, but no, it's just. But uh, I know, but I can. I'm. <laughs> you know, um, I respect. I put again, respectable teams. Yeah. You're talking Coach K, who just retired from Duke University, talking the all time one of the most all time winners yeah. coach in basketball. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a Carolina guy, so like Carolina is a great team. My I'll brother, respectful. And, and I'm respectful of the Carolina team, but also I actually like their logo too, the Tar Heel. Yeah, the Tar Heel. I love their their. Any time I see a Carolina hat with a light blue in the Tar Heel, yep, that's, that's the just one the color hat. in general. That color is beautiful. That color is its perfect. own color, and it's that's what. But I always respected them for basketball though. Um, yeah, and football. They're making, football yeah. they're making some noise. They got a couple, they made, they, you know, they've had a couple guys. Yeah. Um, I always loved that. Um, Rutgers is another, you know, another great college. Rutgers, you know, I like just local, that local. It's that local vibe. You feel good. Like, I'll root for Jersey. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a U guy, Miami. And that's fine. Hey, My, there's nothing. Hey, listen, the U has produced uh, how fun. many NFL guys. Yeah. I mean, you, you look at the U. You look at the Gators. That 2000, you know? that 2000 team is the greatest college oh, assembly yeah. of talent ever. It, it's it's one of the most amazing teams. You know, you've got the U. you got the Seminoles. you got the Gators. No, no, and no. Uh, no, the, but no, no. But, you, but, but you're Florida talking about right, Florida in yeah. general. Um, Florida's crazy. Florida's a – yeah, you're telling me. Um, Florida's a freaking crazy town. Yo, everything in state is crazy. Everything. Jacksonville, Miami, Key West, Orlando. Yeah. Even Disney's crazy. Yo, it's the most expensive place on earth. <laughs> Trust me. I have two kids right now. And that's yeah. and the the question, my seven year old daughter. Love her to death. See, that's the, that's your that's your problem. You got a daughter. That's the yes. problem. You can't I know avoid it. it. You can't but, avoid it. But a daughter who wants to go to Star Wars. All right. I mean it's, all right, that's cool. That's so okay. Like, yeah, my son, we went uh three years ago. Okay. I'm like, oh yeah, three and a half years ago. Okay. He's good. Yeah. My he son now good. we're gonna go. He'll probably go with us, but he'll complain that there's too much walking, so we can just stay home. Yeah, exactly. But that's why we're staying <laughs> inside the park. Um trust me, I've been saving for about three years right now. Yeah. 
it's still going to cost me an arm and a leg. Three, three years, you go for two days. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. But the, fr- the the only thing I said there, I go, if we were there for a day and I just did Star Wars with my daughter. You'd be all like, right. I could say I could die in peace. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah that's cool. That's cool. So that's something she wants to do with me. And that's something because I watched a lot of Star Wars with her. Yeah, I've never. My son's got some Star Wars guys on as well. I've never watched Star Wars before, though. So I got no. I can't. I can't hold the conversation with you. Yeah, on that one. I get you. No, and no worries, man. It's just one of those things. Yeah, it's not my. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> baseball will always be the Yankees. Um. <clears throat> yeah, baseball. I just. I just like baseball. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> now I, for me, Jeter retiring. I don't watch baseball like I used to. I'm. I'm a huge Jeter guy. I always respected okay. Derek Jeter. Yeah. He was the guy that <clears throat> the team looked up to. Yep. One of the classier guys. And he was a true captain of the Yankees. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. I could go either way. I could take the. I could go. We could I have know. a nice fight, or we could stay simple. But I, you know, we don't need fight. No, um, no. My son was born. I'm pretty much became a Yankee fan. Mm-hmm. I, not that I was like I was not really like a fan, but I rooted for the Mets and the Red mm-hmm. Sox because I was like I didn't want to be a Yankee fan anymore. And I get that. I didn't want to be it. I was like, all right. I just liked baseball in general, but now. My son, he plays baseball too, so he he's a huge Yankee fan. My brother in laws yeah. huge Yankee fan, so like I'm like, all right. The rest of my family, my wife's cousins, they're all Yankee fans. My my nephew, so you're he, senior in high school this year. He's a, he's a gigantic. So I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll roll with this. Listen, I'll be honest, I'm a fan of baseball. That's why yeah, I, like I enjoy. I have, that's why I have the Phillies hat. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I, I enjoy some of that old school look. Yep. You want to talk about old school? I'm not even gonna. I'm gonna blank this out. My my sleepy G background, okay, and you're gonna laugh when I show you this. We got Mark Messier, Mike Rickard. Oh, I got Messier. I got the the King Henry Lundquist. Yep. Um, uh, I got Mike Richter in the background over hey. there. I uh, got some Iron Man, the '94 Stanley Cup, Shaturkin. Uh, I got my kids in their little Ranger shirts. Yeah. And so uh, I'm a diehard Ranger fan. Oh, that's awesome. And, yeah, I'm not. Uh, a- yeah, I I mean hockey's cool as shit. Hockey is I great. Really, I never got I never got into hockey though, but hockey's cool as shit. I got into hockey in the eighties, and my dad took me to a Devil Ranger game. Okay, so it was at the old Brendan Byrne Arena, aka yeah. Continental Arena, aka the yeah. Izod. I always have to mention all these because everyone remembers. Depending everybody on what, remembers it differently. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, yeah, Brendan Byrne guy. I'm a Brendan Byrne guy. Yep. So I remember catch my dad got tickets for free. Um, and we went to the game, and I said, Dad, who's that ugly Christmas tree team? He goes, well, those are the New Jersey Devils. I go, God, I don't like them. Oh, man, yeah. So they had the old Christmas tree yeah. uniforms. So They're I terrible. said, they were horrible. They're so so terrible. I said, who's that red, white, and blue team? He goes, yeah. those are the New York Rangers. I go, that's my team. That's I how I picked know. them. Yeah. <laughs> because... cool. yeah, that works. So, But um, you want to talk about nostalgic, I always like – Baseball hats, you know. I'm a I'm a big yeah. new era guy. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I picked up this little beauty. I'm, I'm Florida Marlins. The old school. Is that Gary Sheffield Marlins? What year is that? Oh God, this is '97. So no, Sheffield wasn't on this one. Oh God, who was that pitcher that year? He went to Boston too. Uh, I can't remember. Josh Beckett one. Yeah, Josh Beckett. That's it. Yeah. So that's it, Josh Beckett. But I picked I I for some Yo. reason. The old school Florida Marlin hat, I always loved. Not even that. Like if I play some uh, MLB the show, yeah, I'm. It's the Marlins. Yeah. Oh, okay. Their, their uniform combo is is insane. I like the old school combo. Like I remember the old turquoise hat. Yeah, I love that. They did, hat. they did that this year. All every uh, Friday in the every Friday home game they did. Yeah, no, and that was so cool to see because yeah, that's what I am too. Like even in Madden, like right yeah. now I'm playing. I'm playing Madden. In my my son's room, he won't let me put it on my PlayStation, so I got to play it on his. Okay. And, uh, I usually bounce around, but this this season that I just started, I started with the Texans because okay. they got those uh they got the all white color rush, and then they got like the all blue with just the red stripe. They, I go with, I mean, I want to be the Giants, but they were really bad. Yeah. I just like I pick somebody with a cool uniform, and then I go with that. It's usually the Ravens because they got the all black. They got all the all black, black one. Purple. You know what? I, I'm not a Jets fan, but I gotta admit the black. Yeah, the I think black. Black, everybody looks cool. Yeah, I I don't think I can see the Giants as black, but no, I don't under they they don't have it like there's no I mean the Jets really never did either, but also 
the just look just the the, the black jet with the green looked amazing this year. Yeah, just looked really hot. And who else had besides the Ravens? Um, who else did the black this year? There was another team who did a black. Right, that, yeah, every they're all just trying to throw it in because it works awesome. It it works great. It's intimidating. It's scary. It, you roll you out know, all black, you're a little nervous. Well, you know what? I'll say this. The, uh, the national championship game. Yeah, the, the Michigan. They the Michigan let game. Michigan picked those. They weren't supposed to wear the blues. They picked them. Yeah, and, and the whole team was like, "Oh, we want to rock the all blues." Yeah, and and, the, and they were yeah. like, "Sure, like that's what you. That's not traditional. They're like, no, that's what we want. That's what makes us feel comfortable." Then that's the best way of doing it. I mean, I'm not a Michigan guy because I am a Notre Dame guy. Yeah, um, but I respect Michigan. They're always the big house. The team is always a great team. Yeah, and you got Jim Harbaugh as the freaking coach over there. Yeah, Michigan's one of my like Michigan and the U. They're kind of like the two that you know. I know and a lot I, about Michigan, so it was cool. I, I'm a I, I'm a diehard Notre Dame fan. I've watched Notre Dame. I have a Notre Dame product all over my house too. Yeah. Jer- uh, sweaters, hoodies, t-shirts, hats. Um, you know, I, I, I love Notre Dame. I, I, like I said, I grew up in an Irish Catholic high school, grammar school, all the way to the high school, but. Oh yeah. So let's see. Yeah, it's built. You had no, you had no choice. It, it wasn't That's even fun. by no choice. I just fell in love with them naturally. Yeah. No one forced it on me. Mm-hmm. The, the school didn't force it on me. It, it yeah, just became the only thing. Thing. That's the only thing I wish I had was like a fandom of something that you had to like try for, you know, giants, mm-hmm. Yankees. You don't have to, you just you could stay home on Sunday to watch a Giants game. You don't have to go yeah. somewhere. Being a fan of like living around here and being a fan of somewhere else, like you know the West Coast team or something, where you got to mm-hmm. travel, you got to go to a bar, you got to plan out a Sunday. Like oh, yeah. that sounds kind of cool. I mean, I've um, I've been out to this West Coast San Diego area, and I visited my cousins out there who lived out there, and I caught a that point when they were the San Diego Chargers. Yeah. I actually it was a Sunday. I landed Sunday morning because uh, I took a red eye uh, over there. I, I got in around three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, San Diego went time. Straight to the tailgate. I, I actually know I went right to the hotel, slept for a couple of hours. My cousins picked me up. We went to the nearest bar in San Diego. And I, you know, what's funny. It was kind of cool because I still wore my Giants gear. Mm-hmm. People were not saying anything. And, uh... but it was kind of cool because, um, Seeing another state, another team, and how they act in a bar. Mm-hmm. I thought we were crazy. Yeah. Holy shit. San Diego's nuts. Yeah. They 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 go they ball out out there. Yeah. Man. So it's kind of that's kind of cool to have to, you know, um fight for your, your TV time for your team. Like, yeah. Cool. It was nice, you know, and then um I had a guest on my show, uh Sneaky G. He is the biggest Giants fan, okay? He okay. is he's been on the show, but he lives in Dallas, Texas. Oh man, that's hard. And he told me there's a Giants bar in in Dallas that they have Giants games only. All right. You have to be a Giants fan to get in. <laughs> so it's mm. kind of, you know, that's pretty just, cool. You know, um, I had him, I had the Giants sing. Guy had the, mm-hmm. the Giants turban. Dude, guy was awesome. I talked to him all the time too. And yeah. He's an amazing guy, and then I know you go to the Giants games. Yeah, um, there, yeah, every every game. Season ticket holder, I'm assuming. No, for work. Okay, okay. my family has season tickets though, but no, nah. yeah. every Jets every Jets game on there too. Okay, yeah, yeah, I've been at every I've been pretty much at every any event in that stadium. We're there since it opened. We're there for work. Uh, I remember working at Sherwin Williams. That was all me there. Yeah, all that paint, all that blue for Bud Light and Pepsi. Yeah, I could claim fame to tinning it and matching it at nice. Sherwin and Munaki. Yeah, Victory Raceway, the Victory uh, Horse Bar. Yeah, Horse Bar, that ugly red. Yeah, that's me. That's all you. That's <laughs> all me. I, I do yeah. anything, anything in that freaking racetrack and MetLife Stadium. Yeah. Those are all the colors I matched, man. So nice. I, I have a little hand in that. I could say. All right, there you go. That's cool. So for me, um, it's nostalgic because I'll go in there. Like, oh, I remember matching all these colors back at that yeah. store. You know what I mean? So for me, it's always huge to see that. And yep. uh, every yeah, every time I go there, I just think about work. It's just work. I'm like, oh man, sorry. Well, at least again, Ugh. I can only imagine. Yeah, for you, right. I get it. I get yeah, it. I, I I had like a probably like three years. I literally didn't watch football. Oof. I just I just didn't care. Yeah, I was no, there I... so much. 
you're just there. I was there every every Giants home game, every Jets home game. You're just there, and you're just walking around and like being out of game is cool, but like if, if you're in your seats watching mm-hmm. it and cheering, like if you're just walking around like we are, and like dude, there's no commentating, there's no nothing. Yeah, no, I got you. It makes you appreciate when Joe you have at home that much more. Yeah, yeah, especially when you have to go to the bathroom too. Yeah, <laughs> you appreciate it more. Trust me, I've learned. Yep. Yeah. Um, I actually got to go to two, actually two Monday night football games. Of course, one was a loss. That was the Seattle uh, Giants. Yep. And I got to go. Uh, a friend of mine called me up and I said, hey, actually, it wasn't a friend of mine. It was uh, one of my clients for where I work. Because, hey, I got, hey, you want to go to the Monday, you want to go to the game with me Monday night? I'm like, hell yeah, let's just go. Yeah. You know, and uh, then I went to the Green Bay one. Okay. So was- for me, you know, that was a great one to be. And uh, yeah. It, for me, no matter what, win or lose, it's the nostalgic for me mm-hmm. going to a game. Like, I can't wait to bring my daughter to Madison Square Garden to see her first Ranger game. Yeah. I just took I just took my son to his first Knicks game. Okay, that's awesome. See, that's something I respect. I, it's huge in basketball. He's, he, he's a Bulls fan? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't even know how. That's fine. I respect. But we that, went but... to Knicks Bulls, and that's awesome. I, you know, I'm a Jordan guy, so I was a Bulls fan, and I we, I... we decked him out in Knicks gear, and I'm like, dude, just just go with this, man. Just go with it. Just go with it. And he's like, all right, all right. You know what? Growing up, see, I can't stand basketball anymore. It's not the I... same as it used to be. No, and one person changed it all, for being a bunch of jackasses. And everyone, and I swear to God, if someone calls him goat one more time, oh. I'm, I'm gonna slap somebody's. Oh, you don't go worry about it over here. All ain't right, gonna, good. Ain't gonna happen. Ever since LeBron James said, yeah, that he did that whole ESPN thing. Yeah, I always no. hated that. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking my talents. Listen, you're talented, but I don't think you were that talented. Yeah. You know what it is? It's just it's honestly it's his approach to everything. Yeah. That just I, I I can't get behind his approach. Listen, I am. Yeah, do it. I always was a New Jersey. I love New Jersey Nets. I love the New York Knicks. I love the Chicago Bulls. I love the Boston Celtics. You know, I, there was L.A. Lakers. You know, mm-hmm. the nostalgic teams, Dallas Mavericks. You know. Even when the Raptors came out, the Toronto Raptors. Yeah, well, they had the oh, coolest, probably, probably the coolest uniforms in the history. Of them the and the Charlotte Hornets at one point had the greatest ones. Uh, Charlotte Hornets, the colorway, yeah, the color. There's purple with the with the Raptor the, on it. Yes, that yeah. was so cool. So for me, old. Those are old school. I loved. Yeah. I, listen, one of my favorite players, I'll say, was always been Michael Jordan. Yeah. Next player that I respected highly was Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Magic Johnson. Jason Kidd. It's just our, it's our it's our it's our age bracket. It's our age bracket, but also that. everybody younger. They don't understand. They don't, don't get know. it because you see, my, you know what? Everybody who's seen the Netflix saw the Last Dance. Yep. All right, Michael Jordan is probably one of the hardest working players. Dude, yeah. he paid tribute to Kobe Bryant on that thing, saying, "Called him like a little brother." Yep. You know, he always texted him, like, how should I do this? How should I do that? They yeah. talk. Kobe crazy, man. Kobe was probably the next best thing next to Michael yeah. Jordan. Yep. Yeah, he's my he's my other guy. Love Kobe. Love Kobe. Oh, because his his game was one thing, but it was just everything else that he that he like stood for pretty much. He wanted to be like to Mike. He yeah. really wanted to be like Michael Jordan. He wanted to be like Mike, but he wanted to be better. But he, he wanted didn't to be let better. Anybody know. That's no. the, he didn't let anybody know. He didn't say that it. was the best thing about him. Yeah, he was a family guy. He loved his wife. He loved his daughters. Even though yep. he made one mistake, you can't crucify the guy. Yeah, but the thing is, ever since his passing with his daughter, it I take always heart of what my daughter's with me now. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, tomorrow's not given. It's not promised. Yeah. Now it's something I have to live by every day because yeah, you somebody, never yeah, think about it. like yeah I just left basketball with my son and then like we talked in the car afterwards yeah and I was like bro I'm not mad at you and he's crying and I'm like dude don't, don't cry yeah, my, I'm not mad my, I'm my just telling you the same to, way. all I'm doing is telling you to hustle just hustle that's all I want it's to do. it's funny like even my daughter during dance like she got her recital she's got she's on the team she's on yeah. the dance team this year she, and she you got tried to go to a recital I well I mean, she got she got two tournaments and a recital coming up this year oh. And recitals, that, like it's big time. 
eight hours long, though. Two show, two different shows. Yo, one I went to my niece. I went to my nieces. Me and my wife first. We were first sixteen. I think we were dating. Like mm-hmm. we were not even engaged yet. We went to one. I'm like, yo, I'll go to recital. Let's go. Yeah. Like eight hours later, ain't had no food. They had no water. They, you, I you... loved. I love this little girl, but we can't do this again. We went back the next year. I had a backpack. It was loaded. <laughs> this year, loaded. yeah. Trust me, <laughs> she's got. She's got two. Um, Dance, I don't know. I want to call them tournaments. Yeah, I say tournaments. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's like yeah, it's it's for championships, whatever it yeah. is. So she's got two of those, and she's got her dance recital in June. I told her, like, I'm stu- I, I, I first of all, I treated my daughter sometimes like a boy. <clears throat> like I'm strict like that. Like, yeah, you want to do good, you gotta do better than me. Because I see for her, I see myself in her. A little, a lot, and she's yeah. like my mini me. If That's I was funny. able to shave, if I'm able to shave my shave her head and put a little goatee on her, you can never tell the difference. That's my son. He's literally me. And my son's almost looks like me too, except for the hair. He's got the uh, Dolph Lundgren Rocky Four haircut going for him. Okay, <laughs> so, he looks good like that. I don't know why, but he does. He, he's got that chisel face like Dolph Lundgren for, for yeah. Rocky Four. It works perfect for him. All right. So I respect that, except he's got black hair, not the blonde hair. That's right. But one thing I, I noticed myself is pushing her like my pops would to be better yeah. and to be yeah. and and I asked her to show me. She goes, No, Daddy, I'm it's not perfect. And I know you want me to be perfect. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. I have to take a step back. Yeah. And then I started seeing her practicing. I had to hide so I could see her practice with my wife. Yeah. And I'm watching. I'm like, my God, she's doing so much and so wonderful. It's graceful. Yeah. It's, the, it's, it's probably one of the best feelings. Like and I then, coach, I coach my son's uh, soccer. We just nice. won a championship. Oh, I, congratulations! Basketball. Um, so my son's in second grade, and he's playing up with the third and third and fourth graders. Oh, he's playing with the big boys. So he's allowed to play up for a couple games, and I'm like, dude, you're young. You gotta hustle. You gotta you gotta outwork them. They're, yeah. they're here. Like you're, it's a privilege to be here. Just hustle. It's all they want you mm-hmm. to do is hustle. Yeah, I coach them in baseball too. And like, coaching is probably the coolest thing. It's probably coach, the coolest. Coaching was the greatest thing for me when yeah. I was going to laugh at this. I was a 19 year old senior. I graduated high school. Three months later, I'm coaching for high school football. That's freaking awesome. For me. And I was at St. Mary's in Rutherford. Yeah. It was an opportunity. I was there anyway. I was at community college. I wasn't going and playing football anymore. Yeah. And I was able to teach a freshman team. I yeah. was able to that's help even out. cool. That's even cooler to coach older kids. That's, even the older kids. Cool. I would actually go to the varsity later, yeah. but I was with the freshmen in the beginning. Yeah, you know my buddy's I mean? a head football a head football coach now. And I'm like, dude. It's it's so team. crazy. And the funny thing is, like, you know, I took from my mistakes and mm-hmm. I implemented to what these kids were going to learn. Yeah. Uh, you know, as a Catholic school, it's like God's first family, school, friends, football. Yeah. Football will always come last. They're like, why coach? I'm like, because school work, God's always there when we yeah. need. It. That's one school. You need to be there for school. Yep. School is the way of life. Yeah. And without school, without your freshman year transcript to your senior, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. And that was my mistake. I thought it was the last two years of your high school, not your first two years. And oh, oh I thought yeah. it was the fifth year of high school. I did. Uh, one, I, I did a fifth year of high school. Okay. okay. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so, I, I graduated with four years. <laughs> no, no, I graduated. That's fine. We're good. Oh, but it's oh. uh, yeah. And a lot of those kids went on to play either Division One. Yeah. Got full academic scholarships, honor roll students. So to say that some of those kids I taught, I was very proud. Yeah. Um, we got to I got to see Victor Cruz. Mm-hmm. Okay, a New York Giant legend, number 80. Yeah. Play for Patterson Catholic. Yep. And I saw him in a high school player, and I said, This kid's gonna be special one day. And we beat them in the state championship. And I'll tell you, I tell that you know how sweet that ring is in 2006. Yeah, I no, have awesome. 
I have that state championship, and I'd say that's awesome. That's, that's the cruise one. Yeah, that's- that feels good. Yo, I played. Uh, I played basketball at Patterson Catholic. I played. I didn't play there. I played against them. I played right. against Tim Thomas. I used to. I used to. I used to ball with Tim Thomas all the time. Other nice. dudes they even played with him. A couple dudes went to Syracuse and stuff. I used to play with all those dudes. And that's like, awesome. To, yeah, you know. And- I always think about it to my son. I'm like, dude, I I know when I played, I wasn't coachable. I didn't mm-hmm. listen to the coach. I didn't even play high school basketball. I stopped after freshman year. I was like, I'm not playing with you guys. I played men's adult league basketball. Yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not coachable. I don't want to do this. But now I'm just looking at these kids and I'm like, damn. You gotta be coachable. I feel, I feel, bad, I feel bad for my coaches, dude. Well, I got th- my head coach at that time, Michael Sheridan. Um he's the one he, he's one of my mentors from growing up. And don't get me wrong, my 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 mother and my father is yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. What I mean? But, you know, in layman's terms of playing time and coachability, he said a gauntlet for me my sophomore year into my junior year. He goes, he's looking at next year's roster. This is like right before we end school in June. My end of my sophomore year calls me in his office and he's showing me his roster for next year already. And there's a position open in this ta- in the tackle position. It's left tackle blind side of one of the best kickers in the state of New Jersey at that point, And also my quarterback, Mickey Hulse, you know, protecting his blind side, even though we didn't throw that much, but when we threw, we threw, yeah. we were, we were a powerhouse run team. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he had my name and the other kid's name were both question marks. He goes, you want it? I go, I want it. He goes, then let me coach you. Yeah. I go, what do you mean coach? You've been coached. He goes, no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. Let me teach you. I'm going to work you. Yep. We're going to make you fast. We're going to make you agile. And we're going to make you move. You're going to be moving. I said, there's no way in hell, coach. He yeah. goes, we're going to, you're going to see. Yep. Came in junior year. Now this is when you knew we became a family because we were, we were lifting weights in the summer in the gym of our high school gym. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, that's, that's rough. Yeah. Uh, uh, that brings the, you together. That, well, it was funny. The first two or three weeks, I was running and walking upstairs in the gym by myself after I got done lifting. I'm like, all right, coach. <clears throat> after three weeks, I started noticing Holly Johnson, who was that running back I was telling you. He's the head coach now. And then I see everybody. Then little by little, everyone. And then everybody's running with me, walking, yeah. running, walk. Yeah, it brings you together. It brought us together that year. We had an incredible season all the way to the state championship. Yeah. We lost, don't get me wrong, but yeah to see us come together as that's where the family the brotherhood that's what something i always took into consideration yep um how everyone was so proud of me the coaches knows how hard i worked i did everything i could so yeah. when triple sessions were there i was just wailing like eating them bro like let's go let's go it's 110 outside and it's 125 degrees with helmet and pads and everything this is nothing yeah, I was tortured in a gym in 130 degrees. Yeah. I, dude, I would leave the gym. Shirt was completely doused yep. with water into my shorts. Yeah, I literally had to get changed leaving there. Yeah, but it but, just brings you together. That's what. Yeah, I mean, well, these kids are eight, but it's just how I, I you know, I I love every second because I'm like, dude, we're gonna build something. This is is gonna be, you know, and especially coaching them like bro i go to school in the morning and i yeah. see all these kids and they come out and like coach coach pizza coach pizza coach pizza they're shouting from the school buses like that's a feeling like that makes it you is. Feel cool. even now what's funny is like i'll go to the school like i can't i can't coach anymore because i live here in morris county and to drive to rutherford yeah every day that's a little bit of a hike and that's, it, yeah, I, that's a lot of work it's a lot of work and i'll lose time with my kids yep you know it is it one day when they grow up a little bit yeah, you Maybe can change it up and think about something else, but yeah. But I'm not – I'm going to be a fan first before I become a coach again. Mm-hmm. I want to support them like my dad supported me. Yeah. And when my dad supported me as a coach and as a player, and that's what I'm going to do first. Yep. You know, I want to make sure my daughter my son get that support yep. and they get that love from mom and dad and the grandparents. You know what yeah. I mean? That's going to be yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, my son knows. Like, dude, whistle, whistle comes out. It's like, ain't hey, dad, and I'm coach. It's coach, but when we get back in that car, it's like, yo, what's up, dude? Yeah, it's <laughs> there's dad. A difference. There's a yeah. line. There's, there's a, line. a line, exactly. Yeah, and um, yeah, I looked up to my coach a lot, and that's yeah. why I was like, 
say he's the yep. one besides my dad, my mom, my uncle, you know, he was one of the mentors I had growing up. Yeah. That's, that's literally what I think of now. And I hope that I could do that. I could be that guy for I think he, one of these kids. And that's what I said too, but I think you will, he because he was funny. I have kids that graduated 15, 16, 17 years ago. And when I see them, Hey, coach Gomez, I'm like, dude, you know, it's just, you can call me Alex now. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's nah. like, no, 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 nope. no. It's nope. coach. It will always be coach. And yep. my co- if my coach walked in from little league, it'd be coach. No, same here. I see. I, I even though he tells me you can call me Michael now. I'm like, Coach Sheridan, you'll always be Coach Sheridan to me. Yep. Uh, and, you know, always Coach Venezia, Coach V. You know, just as the guys. Oh, that's who, just a great feeling. This is and, great. And it's the greatest feeling ever. Like you know, like great feelings. Like for both of us. Like yeah, I know you, and we didn't even touch it because we were touching on everything here. Uh, you got your big podcast going on too. Yeah, just bro, it's terrifying. I'm not gonna it, lie to you. You do it. Is, you you are doing it. We're doing it right now. It's terrifying. Yeah. It is. It's, it's terrifying. But I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Can I g- give you a little word of advice? Enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, I I am. It's I'm fun. I'm there. It's cool. I mean, I'm I'm set up. This is the uh, this is the workspace. Yeah. I feel I'm pretty close to to being ready. You know, I'm just and it's it's always I just like to. I also have a problem where I just. It's in my head. We're ready to go, and I just go, and then I'll yeah. just improve. I'll fix what needs to fix as we yeah. go. I mean, me. <laughs> this is why I love my show. I'm improv. I shoot yeah. through the hip, and it and it works for exactly, me. Exactly. It's exactly what it is. I just I just like to you know I got I I literally anything that I've been doing video wise. Mm-hmm. I sent I sent him my little brother because he is a video game head. He plays him and his wife Twitch all these things <laughs> on the internet and video games. They're watching people. I'm like, yo, what do I gotta fix? And he's like, oh, you got to do this. You got to do that. I'm like, all right. And then I do it. And then I'm like, all right, we fixed that. Did I mess anything else up? Like, how, what do we need to, I'm just, as I go, I'm picking it up. I learned more. I think I, I, I did more learning on Playlist Wars because my, my, like I said, my best friend helped me out. It's like, yeah, don't say, um, uh, eh, eh. yeah. Okay. I don't do that now. I'm like, once in a blue moon, I'm like, um, <clears throat> you know, when I'm trying to think of something so. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, if you're trying like, to build I, something, but yeah. No, not even build something. Like, I remember it, but now it's like, mm, the hell was that? The moment again? you're stuck in here, like, hey. Yeah, yeah, you get stuck in those moments. But to be honest with you, man, for me, it just became natural. Yeah. Because it's not scripted. Yeah, that's how I feel. So that's all I need to do. I just need to move, like, right? So half my stuff I do is is in the car. Yeah. And that's right? the best so thing. In the car. Like, now I just got to move it to my house. So yeah, I'm, exactly. Now I'm just in, the, in in here, and I just I could be like, all right, this is what we're gonna I, do. I'll yeah. even tell you this. Look, see, I'll even bust out Sleevy G idea book. <laughs> there you go. I got I got notes. I got notes here too, which is kind of funny. You know, yeah. I I have notes like for blogs, like like I'm gonna blog for the best 1990 movies, five five best 1990 movies. Okay. I have written since last year. Yeah. Since December. I haven't done anything yet because I'm just getting back into the game. Yeah. You know, I took some, yeah, I have a, um, everything that I think of when I, when I, when I have a thought and I'm going through it, Mm -hmm. I have, it's literally all in my note, you know, I'm on my MacBook, so it's all in my notepad. And it's it's also between the phone and the MacBook. I could put it either. I'm I'm so old school. This is around me. I am. I'm I'm more on the, I'm more on the road. That's why I started. So like, I'm, I'm more in my office at work. Yeah, so well, yeah, not my, so, on my desk. So it's like I have to have that. Yeah, all set up. You know what I mean. So, so I go on the notepad, but so yeah. everything's in notes, and then I just read through it. And I'm like, all right. So I'm pretty, but I also didn't want to really like, I don't want to say a hard launch. Mm-hmm. I wanted to just test it. Like I said, like last week, I I recorded last week and it didn't record. No, I did 25 minutes. The, it it happens. Light was on, but I think I just double clicked and it yeah. went away. Like, oh, it does happen, man. Again. It, yeah, it does it's happen. It's progress. It is. I mean, to be honest, if you ever need me to come on the show, bro, I'll be there for yeah. you. I'll, yeah. I'll... I just feel like it's just super cool because it is. It's just there's a you know there's not much rhyme or reason to it. I just want to. I just want to chat. That's I, so do, and that's the best thing. Like I could talk about sports. I could talk about pizzas. We did. Yeah, we just went on a whole journey. <laughs> we just did a whole journey in about an hour together, man. Yeah, like we just went. And that's, that's what's cool. And that's the best thing, you know. For me, it works better when i'm not mm-hmm. scri- i mean it's not that we were scripted with playlist words we had our top 10 songs for that genre that we always talked about yeah but i had to do my research because i was my niche or my niche was video games movies 
and TV. So, for instance, Grant, when we did Grand Theft Auto, okay, the happiest day of my life because I've been dying for that episode. Yeah, like, hey, it was in this movie and this video game, and nine times out of ten, it wasn't Grand Theft Auto because you know they had a lot of great songs. Yeah, in there. So, when we did, damn it, Rangers are losing. <laughs> Sorry. Um, when we did um, Beastie Boys, this is where we. This is how I found this was like our. I think it was my fourth episode in and it was no sleep to Brooklyn. I go, does anybody remember the Steven Seagal movie when he was trying to look for Richie? Like, Oh snap. Or, or we dropped the old shit bombs, but yeah. I go, that's it. That's what we talking about. And everyone was going nuts and ratings went crazy. Yeah. So, you know, like I tell people, if someone reads my one blog, if one person likes my blog, that's it. I know I made a difference. That's exactly what I've come to. I, I've come to that. Like as long as it's one, there's only one person. And I'm lucky enough where, you know, if you ever need help too, please. Yeah. You, I'll even give you my cell phone or I'll gladly help you out. Cause I have a friend <clears throat> in Texas who's going to do a, a podcast with, uh, for, uh, with, cause he's a police officer, but he's also a Marine. Um, he wants to do with first responders and stuff. And that's something I, I said, yeah. that's a great thing, but I always try to get first responders, but then it's hard because I don't want them to talk about so much details. Yeah. I said for him, that would actually work out better because he is a first responder. Yeah. So that they, they have a better connection to it. Yeah. But like, yeah, have, that's, that's all I think of. I'm like, Oh, I have, a, I have a, I have an episode log, like idea, like this episode is going to yeah. be this, but then everything else is literally here off the hip. Like we're just going to talk. Yeah. That's and that's one thing I love. You know, like, um, you know, we have you tonight. I had Jimmy Warren. I recorded that in December. That was new for this season. Yeah. Well, I won't even call season. I call for the year. Yeah. Um, you know, you could do every week if you like, or you could do every other week. I'm actually yeah. going to start switching to every other week. Yeah, I think that's kind yeah. of in my head. That's kind of my thing, just so I could I could space out. Then in yeah. Because then I know if something comes up, I don't have to feel, like, forced into it. Like, yeah. Oh, I mean, I can ready, record. Ready Thursday. I can only do tomorrow. I don't have time. You I'm know. recording three episodes in the next week and a half. Yeah. So, you know, it's record. Don't, I don't edit and leave it the way it is. Yeah. I just, I, yeah, my edit, like I, I like I said, last week, so I posted one. It was like a rough, it was like a beta test. Yeah. And I'm like the edit that I edited is just, I just rewatched it just to make sure <laughs> there's no, you know, mess ups. Cause I was on the, uh, I was on my table and I was, mm -hmm. I was just, I have a nervous twitch <laughs> and it was hitting the camera. So it looked like I was like on a boat. So oh, okay. I, I said again, I'm like, Oh, I got to fix that. Well, so I stabilized it. Right. And now, now the camera I'm now I'm on the computer, but I have the camera in front of me. It's not touching the table. Ooh, like, what I'm doing, what I'm doing too, is I'm going back to later episodes and I'm actually grabbing some cool content and yeah. reposting up. Hey, remember episode yeah. four, you know what I mean? Like, so say three months down the line, I'm like, Hey, remember when I had Steve, the pizza Hulk in our show, this is what he said. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so I could go back. Yeah, that's so that's what I want to do. I just want to, like I said, I want it to be like literally like the Seinfeld, the podcast, right? You just want to just have fun. It's pizza theme and we're just going to talk. We're just going to chat. Dude, yeah. I can't wait. Hopefully I'll get invited yeah. for that, man. I'll give you a shout. Don't worry. I'm tough about it. Yeah. But um, I got to say, before we do sign off, which, dude, first of all, still excited having you on the show. It, yeah. it, this means a lot to me because I feel like you're the Dave Portnoy of New Jersey. Uh, that's that that's the goal it's not dave portnoy it's just no. the goal is to just be you like that dude that pizza dude from here. i anybody who it's kind of funny i work with a older clientele but i say pizza hook they're like dude seriously because i've seen his stickers i go yes yeah so that's you know that just shows that everyone sees it yeah and i, and I said i'm excited to have him on he goes he's famous i go yeah he is and I, and that's what i love about him he's coming on my show tonight oh. you know what I mean? I'm locally famous. You're locally my, famous. Uh, hey, that's my go-to. That's my go-to. Same here. I mean, listen, yeah. if I if I branched out to Texas, get from North Vegas, California, yeah, Canadians. same thing. I got a I've got a sticker. I got a sticker in Jersey. I got a sticker in Chicago, Connecticut, Las Vegas. I'm nice. going to New Haven. I'm going to New Haven in two weeks. Nice, nice. It's amazing up there. Oh, it is. I've I've been to Connecticut and I have the, my... uh, there's a pizza Airbnb. It's pizza is, team. Is yeah. it really? Oh, I 
I'll, I'm going to keep a lookout for the pictures on that one. That's yeah. going to look cool. Yeah, I'm going to record. I don't know what I'm going to record when we get there, but I'm going to record the whole thing. That, that'll, be, that'll be cool to oh, see. Um, I told my wife, I'm like, we're bringing everything. She nice. Just, she just, she's she's very good at the eye roll now. She's very good at it. Good. So <laughs> you, it seems like you got a good family support like I do. That's yep. the first basis, man. Yeah. And before we do sign off, I, I do have to ask, top five pizza places that you oh. love man off the top so, of your head yo top five is the hardest one right i know oh also real quick i'll give you the top five because the yeah. next time you hear the top five i put a thing on my story the other day i think i think they should reset for the year okay right? like yeah a, yeah a new season so, so, so 2023 2023 is, um, so we're not gonna do 2024 we're gonna uh, do 2023 all right top 2023 five. top five shit <laughs> All right, uh, we'll go even in order. I'll start at one because it's easier in my head. Vinny's okay. Pan Pizza in Melbourne is one. Okay. Um, number two is is a home baker, squares and fairs, out of Little Egg Har- out of Egg Harbor, all the okay. way down. It's like top secret location, but he's opening a restaurant in Summers Point. Mm. All right, so he's two. Number three is the Galley in Asbury Park. Okay. Number four is. Number four is uh, number four is Patsy's and Patterson. Okay, that's a good spot. And number five is Zaza's Pizza in Chicago. Ooh. They 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 have a um there was this garlic rosemary something spread on the crust. It that's, blew my mind. Blew my mind. That sounds so good. I might want to slice a pizza now. Yeah, it blew my mind. That does sound really good. Yeah. So yeah, it's four regular spots, but also it's is diverse. Like yeah, no, it is. You're... Most people when they have a list, honestly, when I see a list, it's local to their area. So it's mm-hmm. like, oh, the South Jersey people are like, oh, only South Jersey. It's like, dude, I'll give you. I'm a thin. Thin is my jam, right? Right. That squares and pairs is thick. It's just it blew my it blew my mind. That that's, I gotta... that's what it takes to get in the top five. Is just it is literally blow your mind. Blow it, and we're and we're I... gonna fit you in. We definitely, have to, I definitely have to get my ass to Chicago now that you said that. And it's not deep dish; it's New York style, so it's even crazier. Oh man! <laughs> oh well, guys, I gotta thank you for coming on, Steve. Yeah, Steve oh, thank you for pizza- having me. Oh, you're welcome, man, Steve the Pizza Hulk. Now, before we do sign off, I, you gave me your top five. Let's let everybody know where they can find you. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube at the Pizza Hulk. The YouTube is. What the podcast is going to be, it's Smashing Slices Pod, also on Instagram, but most of every all the content and everything is going to be through uh, YouTube for nice. now. So I figure out Spotify or whatever else. But right now, keeping it shorter on YouTube, and then we'll branch out. I got to we'll branch it all up, you know what I mean? Oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> I, I I actually, you know, it's a good, it's Anchor, because that actually sends all your stuff out to like Amazon, Podcast, Apple. Yeah uh spotify uh all them so uh things that could also help you out too man no yeah. worries i'll gladly yep. help you out absolutely man thank you thank you again thank you for coming on thank you for talking about a little bit about everything tonight uh, man that's it it's a true that's honor about. to have yeah it's yeah. a true honor having you here on the show finally you're always welcome back steve anytime you want you. you can hit me up saying hey i want to come back i gotta talk to you about yeah. this you know what i mean yeah, we I'm- could, we could- we could set another one up, bro. Absolutely. Oh, definitely we will. And I'm so thankful. Guys, as you can see, I have a local New Jersey legend, as I call him. He, You'll see his stickers on pizza shops. You see his his gear on him right now. You see his sign. It, it is the Pizza Hulk, and he's got a Hulk hand right behind him, too. He might smash you if you don't agree with him. But, <laughs> but he's a cool guy. I thank you so much. And you got to enjoy this time. And as I always end this show, it's nothing but love, peace, and happiness. Good night, everyone. And I will see you soon. Take care, man. Thank you. Thank you. And-